I will show you how to configure a Linksys router. This tab you can see on this video, this is a setup tab. If you click this one, a word setup will come out on this side. And you can see on this option what is your internet connection. These are the options on this one side or internet side. If your internet connection, when you direct it to your PC or laptop, no configurations and automatically you are connected to the internet. You can select this one. The default is DHCP. So you can select this one. And if your internet is static, static when the internet service provider do an IP. And this one, the next one is PPPoE. When internet service provided you an username and password. These three are our internet provider in our country. And on the next tab, I will show you. This is the DHCP server. Uh, the, this means that when you connect to the router, the maximum is 50. And the IP or the address starts with 100 and up to 150. If you want to disable, just click disable. And this is the IP of your router, 192.168.0.1. You can edit that one, it's up to you. DDNS. This one, if you want to remotely see your camera, if your internet service provider is your account is dynamic, and we know that dynamic is the IP on your one side will change every time you reconnect on the internet, you can register to the DYDNS. The purpose of this one is if you want to view some applications or IP cameras inside on your network, if you want to view it remotely on other places, you can configure on this side. This one is the MAC address clone. In our, our area, in the Philippines, uh, sometimes we need to Mac clone to connect on the internet. You can enable this one or enable, just click this one, enable, and enter your Mac PC or clone Mac your PC. You can see that this one is going to change. Next one is. This is the routing tab. Okay, status. If you if we finish configuring the one side, we select dynamic, static, or PPPoE. If you want to check if our router is connected to the internet, are we going to check the status? This is the status tab. Okay, you can see this one is the firmware version of the router. If you experiencing some bugs, you can update this one, but you have to ask the technical support of the Linksys before updating this one. On the lower side, the default is dynamic and as of now it's disconnected and if you if this one IP is inputted example 58 and so on and 
the lower side this one the gateway and the DNS if data is filled in this area your router is connected to the internet if you want to this one area if if you're using a dynamic or DHCP no the, your internet is plug and play you can release and renew the IP for a new IP you can see on the right side this is the model of your router WRT54G2 I hope this video help you how to configure your Linksys router. Thank you.